all right my people good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are hearing me from yes this is coming from victory voice tv where you get all those news that matter to us sure you can see what is on the screen uh Brano governor zulum excludes christians their communities from nigerian government's um three billion naira palliatives center for justice our reporters oh yes i won't go into details but i will just tell you what i have in mind yes you can imagine what is going on this is the supports where they are getting the three billion naira from this uk that is giving them this is islamization agenda yes richard montgomery <clears throat> He say honor to host informal section. He at uh, Governor Bronu and the uh, Professor Zulum on his leadership and plans for securing and rebuilding Northeast. Im impressive replies to questions. Deep and deep partners keen to support and coordinate at uh, Governor Bronu Governor or I mean Bronu government on durable solution to humanitarian and livelihood needs you now join it with this okay this is what happened they are the ones that release the money that they will give to uh islamic people there the boko haram the people that are killing the christians in that community they are the ones that will receive the palliative that's what we are saying you know when they are doing it they won't know the, you can connect the dots Connect the dots and you see how the Islamization agenda is unveiling in the Northeast. Yes, they are the ones killing the Christians. They are the ones that will receive the palliative. Britain is the one giving them. And they will tell you, you are one Nigeria. Shame on all of you who bear the cross of one Nigeria. The cross of what you don't know you are bearing, you are bearing it. It will be heavy on you and your children forever. All of you that are supporting one nigeria and you don't want to speak out and tell call a spade a spade that this is pure islamization agenda and then they should if they want separate and have their own country why not why not have your freedom why must you force others to your religion why must you lure them with the money you're supposed to give to those that they burnt their houses and their shops you are not giving palliative to the right people you are giving palliative to the criminals the terrorists the killers and those that are destroying farmlands and communities and houses that is what we are saying uh god to marry or whatever you call yourself hmm. Allah nigeria will swallow your head yes sure we are telling you that of course you know the case of biafra is not what you you can you can say now because biafrans are taking their faith they are taking the bull by the horn telling you that we cannot wait for your referendum again no we can't because we can see the handwriting on the wall that you are not willing to do it not now not today not forever you will not do it so we will have to coordinate ourselves and take it by force how are we taking it by force listen to their army they are crying and we must continue today something again happened but that's not what i'll say here but i'll do it in another video all right so please support the liberation of biafra if you want good thing for yourself support the liberation of biafra that is the only time and place you will have peace how can people beat you and then they will be paid for beating you <laughs> that is to tell you that they should beat you the more that they've not even beat you enough that's exactly what it means go and burn down their houses again and come and receive three billion naira we'll give you more yes tunubu will re release the money he will release it he is an islamic person all right and then all of them put together they are working to lure you into what you cannot carry. <laughs> One of the Muslim brothers, he said that uh, Nigeria is sliding into darkness. You know, this Muslim Muslim ticket, Senate of Muslim Muslim ticket, they are signing a lot of things against the Christians and suddenly Nigeria is sliding into darkness. Tell me, if a Muslim person will call 
uh, what is happening in Nigeria Senate, what is happening in Nigeria because of Muslim, Muslim ticket, if a Muslim person will call it sliding into darkness. Is it you, a Christian, that will not call it sliding into darkness? If you want, out of hunger, go and collect and eat, and you will know you have ruined your life. <laughs> Hellfire awaits, awaits you, all right? You must have to be continuing looking up look up and call a spade a spade all right say what is bad is bad and that is the duty of man righteousness pursue righteousness do not kill others do not burn their houses do not burn their hard end uh shops ha huh. unbelievable mazin and the god will bless you because you said all these things and that is why they refuse to release you. Whether they release you or not, eh? I know you have held your peace together because God is your comforter. The truth you say have set you free and it will set you free. It will set you free from the shackles of any kind. It doesn't matter the stiffness of the shackles or these fetters on your legs and your hand. God whom you have spoken his mind. And that is the mind of the people. And that is the truth we are talking about. Will set you free. He can do it. He has done it before. Your own will not be exceptional. Freedom will come. Dear friends, do not listen to Iwanyan. What Iwanyan said on Sunday is a slap on the face of Ndibo because he told Sunubu that we believe in one Nigeria. Now, uh, Igbos believe in one Nigeria more than any other tribe. Yes, that's what they have been saying. But Igbo shops are being demolished. Igbo houses are being demolished. Igbos are being killed. Yes, thank God for Biafra Liberation Army, whom we are using to defend our land. My prayer is that this man would double, would double and triple and fool the whole surface of earth. Yes, and that is the way Biafra will come. More men needed. But mind you, there's no recruitment for now so that you not go and fall into wrong hands. Remember, 140 boys, have, they fell into wrong hands in the name of recruitment. I know it is bubbling in your heart to fight for Biafra. I know, but please, Parkour, we will give you information as to when and how you can join the Liberation Army because our land must be liberated. No more Islamization. We have already seen it. Whatsoever you know, should not defeat you the only thing that can defeat a man is what he does not know but what you know you have to know how to approach it and that is it i just have to wrap it wrap it up at this point in time you know urging you to please stay glued to the channel support what we're doing share and subscribe to the channel god bless you all